Today we're going to be looking at how to convert decimals to mixed fractions. To show this, we have a couple of examples that we're going to work through together here, so let's get started. As we can see, for question number one, we're being asked to convert the decimal of 4 and 6 tenths into a mixed fraction. Now the first thing that we're going to do here is we're going to break apart the two different parts of a mixed fraction. So in a mixed fraction, we have both a whole number and a fraction. So for the whole number portion of our mixed fraction, the value of the whole number in the decimal is not going to change in the mixed fraction. So our 4 here is going to have a value of 4 in the mixed fraction as well. So the very first thing that we're going to do is we're just going to write our whole number of 4 in our answer. That just leaves us with the fractional part of our mixed fraction. And as we can see up top here, highlighted in yellow, in order to convert a decimal into a fraction, we're going to write the decimal over top of its place value. So for 4 and 6 tenths, well, the 6 here is in the tenths place, so we're going to write the fraction of 6 over 10 to represent our 6 tenths. Now, we're not quite done here because we can simplify this fraction because both 10 and 6 are multiples of 2. So in order to keep this fraction equivalent, we're going to divide both our denominator and our numerator by 2 in order to simplify the fractional part of our mixed fraction. Well, when we divide 10 by 2, we're left with 5. And then for the numerator, when we divide 6 by 2, we're left with 3 for 3 fifths. And now, since we can't reduce this fraction any further because the only common factor between 3 and 5 is 1, we're done. So, we have the fractional part of our mixed fraction, which has a value of 3 fifths. So, when we convert the decimal of 4 and 6 tenths into a mixed fraction, we get the mixed fraction of 4 and 3 fifths when written in its lowest possible terms. Now moving on to question number two, where this time we're being asked to convert the decimal of 12 and 25 hundredths into a mixed fraction. So just like we did for the first problem, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to focus on the whole number value in our mixed fraction. Well, here we have a whole number value of 12. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to write a 12 in our answer because the value of our whole number is not going to change. Now we can focus on the fractional part of our mixed fraction. And to do this, we'll remember that all we're going to do is we're going to write the decimal over top of its place value. So for 25 hundredths, we're in the hundredths place, so we're going to write a fraction of 25 over 100 to represent 25 hundredths. Now just like with the first problem, we're not done here because we can simplify this fraction. Because both 25 and 100 are multiples of 25, so we're going to divide both our denominator and our numerator by 25 in order to simplify the fractional part of our mixed fraction. Well, when we divide 100 by 25, we're left with 4. And then for the numerator, when we divide 25 by 25, we're left with 1. And now since there's no common factor between 1 and 4 other than 1, we're done. So we can move the fractional part of our mixed fraction into our answer. So for the fractional part, we had 1 fourth. So when we convert the decimal of 12 and 25 hundredths into a mixed fraction, we get the mixed fraction of 12 and 1 fourth when written in its lowest possible terms. So hopefully by now you understand how to convert decimals to mixed fractions. Help make math less complicated by smashing those like and subscribe buttons. As always, enjoy today's math journey.